This is Mike with AndroidHeadlines.com, and today I have three phones of similar background, I suppose, similar build. Uh, the first is the AT&T Galaxy S2. The second is the AT&T Galaxy S2 Skyrocket. And the third is the AT&T Galaxy Captivate Glide. Um, I suppose there's no Galaxy name in it, but there might as well be because it feels like the little brother to a Galaxy S2. Um, the three phones I have here are pretty similar overall. The Skyrocket seems to be a little different in the fact that it has 4G and it comes with a better operating system off the off out of the box. Um, it comes with 2.36 which you know fixes a few things here and there which this is the Skyrocket here. Um, it's of course bigger, as you can see, um, just bigger in a few ways. The uh, screen's a little bigger, and it weighs a little more, which isn't that big of a deal because it's only by a couple ounces. The screen, as a, or the physical device, is 4.5 inches over the regular S2, which is 4.3, and of course you have the Captivate Glide over here, which isn't really a Galaxy S2 per se but it does have dual core coming in at four inches period. Um, the screen resolutions are of course all the same. Um, the two S2s have Super AMOLED Plus rather than just the uh, AMOLED. They're all capacitive of course. Uh, the battery lives are all comparable basically. They all carry the same battery. They're all 1650. Uh, so that's not too much. The, one of the noticeable differences that you will notice when playing with the Skyrocket over anything else is the 15 megahertz, um, I believe it's a Qualcomm uh, chip, uh, dual core, whereas the AT&T, well, excuse me, the regular S2 is only 1200 megahertz. It's an Exynos though, and uh, the Glide over here is a dual core 1 gigahertz <coughs> or 1000 megahertz. Um, they do all have graphics processors. The Captivate Glide is a Tegra 2, so that's for your Tegra 2 gaming. That's kind of nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. They all do support microSD and microSDHC up to 32 gigabytes. Um, they all have 8, mega, 8 megapixel cameras on the front. Uh, these two have a 2 megapixel, or excuse me, 8 megapixel cameras in the rear, two in front um, on these two devices. 1.3 on this device. They all work wonderfully for video calling. Um, the rear camera on this device, even though it is an 8 megapixel, only records and captures in 720p, whereas these ones do 1080p HD. So that's kind of nice. Of course, 720 is HD. Um, H, excuse me, HD, whatever. Quotes there. Um, there's not a whole lot of differences, really. Like I was saying, I mean, I can't really... I, if I had to say pick a phone, I'd say the Skyrocket, just because of the 4G. You know, the other two don't have 4G. Um, they're all on. So, I'm just going to briefly show you. Oh, I mean, the uh, Captivate Glide over here, of course, has a keyboard. I'll show you a little bit of the keyboard. The other two devices do not have that. Uh, the keyboard is reminiscent for me to the Epic 4G Touch. That's the first um, Galaxy S on Sprint. The first Galaxy S on AT&T did not have that. It was it was just a uh, it was more along the lines of the Galaxy S2 we have now. Uh, it's kind of more boxed and squared. It looked more like um, well, just not like you know this device over here. It was boxy and kind of squared off. Um, but of course they've made some changes with this Galaxy Captivate Glide. Um, the keyboard, of, you know, I was talking about. And, this, and the subtle changes in the uh, dual core. The originals were a gigahertz. These ones are uh, dual core gigahertz. So you get all three devices. They're all pretty similar. They're all Galaxies. They're all running uh, Samsung's TouchWiz. And they're basically really similar. And like I said, if I had to choose one, I'd go with the Skyrocket. And it's merely because of the speed. Other than that, they really don't differ. I'm going to double check and make sure 
if they've got more memory or processing speed in any of the devices. Uh, they do have more processing speed, excuse me, more rep, more memory, more RAM for uh, holding internal, etc., etc. It appears that I believe they are all the same in that in, in that regard. System memory is 1024 megabytes of RAM and 1600 built in on these two, only 8000 built in on that one. So 16 gigs on the two S2s, 8 gigs on the Captivate Glide. So yeah, there's not a whole ton of differences in here. Um, this is obviously your best choice with Skyrocket, and that's my opinion. This has been Mike with AndroidHeadlines.com.